Welcome to Control. Today we're going to learn how to create cards in Control. A card is designed to help you create tasks for your business process and assign them to the right people. A card progresses through the stages of a blueprint via different teams and gets completed when it reaches the last stage. Let us consider an example. Zilker Inc., a steel production company, receives orders from multiple clients every day. These orders are created as cards in control. They use cards to perform their routine and repetitive activities more efficiently. To create a card, navigate to the Cards tab and click the New Card button. Choose the right form that you'd like to create a card in. Fill in the card's fields, then assign the card to a user, team, or role, and mention them in the Assignee field to ensure that everyone knows the point of contact for the card always. Once the form is filled out, you can view the card details page. Associate the right blueprint with the card to go through the right process. If the card is associated with the wrong blueprint, click on this icon and choose Move from the dropdown. You can select another blueprint from the dropdown. Click the Preview hyperlink to view the blueprint associated and the current stage of that card. Click Edit to modify the blueprint while performing the card. Users can perform transitions in the card if they have the relevant permissions. Click on the transition name to move the card to the next stage of the blueprint. Use comments to communicate with the team instead of sending out multiple emails. To make sure the comment is notified to specific users, mention them by typing the at symbol followed by the username in the comment box. The tagged users will be sent an email, web, or mobile notification based on their notification preference. The Activities section keeps a record of all of the activities performed on the card. Now that we know how to create and use cards, let's look at the different types of card views and how to filter cards and customize them. The Cards page lands in the List view by default, where the cards are displayed in a chronological view. Filter the cards based on the requirement and only display the necessary cards in the card view. For example, Choose the blueprint Supply Chain Management to view the cards associated with that blueprint. In the Kanban view, the active cards available in the stages of specific forms are displayed. The order of the stages can be interchanged and you can drag and drop the cards to progress from one stage to another. Control understands that each business has its own unique needs, so apart from default views, we support custom views for every orchestration. Custom views help you create and modify card views for every orchestration based on the criteria that your business requires or prioritizes. This can be more beneficial for displaying customer-specific data according to your growing business requirements. For example, Zilker Inc. uses custom views to prioritize cards important to their business. This includes custom views where they filter the pending orders of the high-priority customers. Navigate to an orchestration shortcut, select the drop-down, and click Add Custom View. Enter the name and description. Select the type of visibility for the view. Choose Private if only you wish to see the custom view, or Public to share this view with other users in the portal. Choose specific users to share this view with just some users. If the custom view is public or for specific users, you can select the Share Column Customization box to allow users to view the modifications that you make later to the column view. You can further customize the columns by clicking the Settings icon near Card ID and toggle the button near the field names to enable or disable the columns to be displayed in the view. Click the up and down arrows to view the field values in ascending or descending order. You can use this to view the orders that have to be delivered first. Import and export cards by clicking on the icon and selecting the suitable option. We hope that you found this video helpful and enjoy using cards to manage and track your tasks. To learn more about cards, visit the link in the description below.